we cannot preach this too much, that our sojourn on earth is filled with a lot of challenges. But the Bible says, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Christ that strengthens us. It is very clear from the word of God that God's intention is for us to win in every battle, in every challenge of life, in every difficulty that may arise. Whatever may happen in our lives, we are built to overcome. We are built to win. No matter how you look at it, there is in us an enormous power that can do all things. And this is why Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the God of heaven and earth, the creator of the universe, has sent me again to you this morning to inspire you, to motivate you, and to encourage you. This morning, my prayer is that God himself will bless you. May you receive divine wisdom. Let the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will know In the mighty name of Jesus. You will understand. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be stranded. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will go from glory to glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will win. In everything you lay your hands to do. In Jesus mighty name. I pray. Amen. Today again. God almighty sent me to to encourage you. And I pray you will understand. Today I'm talking on this topic which I titled simply, you can do it if you really want. You see, the way we are created in this world, we are created to to have dominion over all things. We are created to subdue all things. You see, in God's calendar of our creation, there is nothing that may ever happen to us or around us that we are not built to overcome. He says we must subdue the earth, meaning we must subdue anything that is on earth. We must subdue any situation or circumstance that may arise on the earth. We are given enormous power. We are given divine ability. We are given. And that is why when you look at you know, the history of mankind. There is nothing that man has not tamed. Can you see those big elephants? Man has tamed them and turned them to servants of man. Do you see the the greatest things, those whales in the sea and in the ocean? Man has taken some of them and tamed them. Man is simply awesome and you are a man. You can do it. I don't know what you have set out to do in your life that look difficult. God wants me to remind you that it may be difficult, but it is not impossible. I don't know the challenges that rise up against you in life. Those challenges may look overwhelming, but they cannot swallow you. You see, the way of life is a mystery. The way of life must be intelligently understood. God did not create you to suffer, although there will be challenges. God did not create you to lose, although there will be battles that look like it's going to swallow you. God did not create you to be sick, although sicknesses and disease may attack us and ravage our body. But God created us to stand and to fight, to stand and to win. God has given us dominion over all his work. Whatever face you, whatever attack you, God has given you dominion over it. 
But you see, the problem is that we are looking to God. We are waiting for God to do it for us. And it is not bad. It is good to wait upon the Lord. In Isaiah chapter 40 from verse 28 to 31, in 31 it says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as the eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. It is good to wait upon the Lord because when we wait upon the Lord, we are renewing our strength. But you see, when we wait upon the Lord, the Lord always comes. And that's why Romans chapter 8 verse 11 says, If the spirit of him that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwelleth in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body. When we wait upon the Lord, the spirit of God comes upon us. And the Spirit of God begins to, you know, to incubate us and empower us. So when this power comes, it comes from the within of us. It comes from the inside of us. Now, when this power is generated, it is left for us to use it. It is left for us to direct this power to that thing that is troubling us. Whatever is troubling you, the Holy Spirit, when you wait upon the Lord, the Holy Spirit incubates you and empowers you from the inside. From that point, it's your responsibility to direct that power from the inside of you to attack that problem that is dominating your life. It is now your responsibility to take it from there, from where the Spirit of God has empowered you and stopped. Then you take it from there and the Holy Spirit will continue to help you from there. We have got a responsibility. We have got work to do. You see, if it is like the way many people think it is, that God will do everything for us, then we didn't need to walk. We'll just sit down. God, we go and walk for us and bring food for us. But you see, because we have a responsibility, we have a work to do. We have an assignment to accomplish. We have a mandate to fulfill. And so we must do something. And we do it through Christ that strengthens us. When we key into him by waiting on him, then he waits on us to take action. And when we take action, it begins to help us in the action we take. You need a job, you sit down in the house, you pray, God will provide a job for me. Yes, God will provide. But now you need to do something, get out of your bed, take your bath, look nice and smell good, then go distributing your CV, go asking for a job. You must do something. See, that is it. If we don't do something, then that is where failure comes. We cannot fail because we are already empowered from the inside. But there is something we have to do from the inside to the outside. We must contribute. We must make our own. We must do our own part. Then God cannot fail. And this is why I used to say, God is not only willing to bless us, God is ready and able See, many people are saying God is able. Yes, we know. More than that, God is willing and God is happy. And not only is he willing and happy, he's already blessed us. The Bible says God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. Where is the heavenly places? The heavenly places is within you. And many of us will look up to the heavenly places somewhere outside of us. But you see, the Bible says that the heavenly places is within us. The kingdom of heaven is within us. And if the kingdom of heaven is within us, and Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 says, God has blessed us with all blessings in the heavenly places. It means that all the blessings is within me. The blessing is within you. And so you need to tap from the inside of you. And from there, you need to use that power on the inside of you, direct it to solve the problem that is confronting you. And you have the solution. This is the word. This is the message. And this is what God is saying. 
Thank you for listening. I want to appreciate the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga who regularly, you know, do their, you know, their work for God by sending, you know, offering to this ministry so that we are able to send this to you every day and to increase the cost of our sending. God bless you, partners, in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, this message is important. Can you please rebroadcast this to your friends and loved ones? I know God will reward you for doing that. And if somebody rebroadcasted this to you, you love this message, and you want me to send it directly to you, if you're on WhatsApp or Telegram, just save this number, plus 27740302381. Save it right now. Go to your WhatsApp or Telegram. Send me this simple message. Add me. Once I see that from tomorrow, you will receive this. Thank you once again. It is well with your soul. Today is Sunday. Please make sure you go to church. Churches of God are the workshops of God. And in the workshop, angels are present to help, to bless, to renew people's destiny and life. So go and get your destiny renewed. Make sure you locate a church around close to your house. And if you're in Bethlehem, Prevailing Church, our church, the Prevailing Church is there. Go to Prevailing Church and God bless you. Pastor Cecilia Macoba is there and um, she's going to be a blessing to you. If you're in Joburg area, our church is located at Springstown. Come, the time is 10 o'clock. Come to Springstown. The, the address is 69 L. Batty Court, 2nd Street, opposite Top Center Club, Springstown. Come 10 o'clock. God is going to bless you. God is going to do you good. Thank you so much. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga of the Prevailing Church of Christ, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.